keep track of the time for us. Um, I need to tell you right up front, we will not be responding to those comments. We will take them and <coughs> review those. So, anyone wish to speak in the public comment period? it again. Anyone wish to speak during public comment? Yeah. Okay. I've been here all my life. I think what one of your trustees done is despicable. He should be removed. Period. End of discussion. That is terrible. To put a big banner sign up, even though it was in McHenry County, in the public scene. I was over that way today and they were Talking about the long, talked about it all over. Anybody that's in this position should not have made that kind of statement on that board. End of statement. Okay, thank you. Um, by the way, you do need to say your name. So. Oh, Ray, okay. I want it. Okay, thank you. Just spell it right. Okay. Anyone else like to speak? Yeah, I do. I have something to say. My name is Frank Perez. I'm one of the District 2 firemen, mm -hmm. and I believe that Kevin Stark, one of our head trustees, should be removed from office immediately upon the sign that was put on his property. Uh, he is start, he, it starts at the top. You guys represent us, and there is no way for a trustees to represent our department. If a firefighter were to do something like that, they'd be dismissed immediately. And it should start at the top. You guys are the top. We will not tolerate that from anybody, just like you guys would not tolerate that. So I'm asking for him to be removed immediately as a trustee. It's racist, it's not fair to everybody, and the LGBT community has reached out and they're very upset about it too. It's a very racist statement. It's not fair to the members of this department. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Yes, please. Yes. All right. Sharon Cornell, sorry, late. I came in. Uh, I'm just asking, uh, what is the department's position or what is your action at this point with Mr. Stark? That is why we're having the meeting this evening. Okay. That uh, the two trustees that are here can have that discussion. Mm -hmm. um, we will do that because it is. Uh, talking about discipline or performance or dismissal. We will do that in closed session. We will come out after the closed session and give what our response is. I said I wouldn't respond to a question. I apologize. I just did. Jeff, I had a question. Seeing that the county trustees are appointed by the county board chairman, correct? By the county board and chairman combination, yes. County board chairman I recommend them and mm -hmm. county board approves them. Yes. Don't see any representative here from the county board. Was there any? <coughs> Anyone else wish to speak? Hi, Linda True. I came here last year to different meetings and I did the public input. I asked questions and I guess I'm disappointed that not one of the trustees ever contacted me after a meeting or at some other time said, you know, do you have five minutes that we can give you some answers to your questions? So I was very disappointed in the trustees in that. That's I'm not here as a county board member. I'm here as a representative of my family. 
Is it okay if I speak, Mr. Myers? Are, are you done now? Yes. Okay. Um, if you'd like to be next, go ahead. I'm not going to condone, condemn, support anything that was put out anywhere because I'm going to give your name. Brad Stark, 2-9. Okay. Thank you. Okay. At the end of the day, we all have a First Amendment right. Whether you like it or not, people can go out anywhere and say what they want, as long as it's not slander, doesn't harm anyone. Whatever was said was said. But there's people in this room that then went on to the World Wide Web and chose to say a bunch of nasty things about myself and my family that can't be taken back. They can't be taken down like a sign can be taken down. And there's people in this room that did that. And there's a fair majority of the people in this room, and some of the ones that did those things have my phone number. They could call me. They could look me up. They can ask what the truth is. They can find out what the real story is. And you all chose not to. So whatever was said was said. But people here went and took that and made it worse. My wife and kids are at home, and they don't even want to leave the house because of some of the nasty things people in this room said. And that's sad. That's terrorism on a local level. A mother and her five kids, they don't even want to go to the grocery store. They got to wait till dad gets home. So we can go together. Anybody ever think about that? You ever think about where your words go? You guys the, put the sign up. I didn't put the sign up. up. So you guys oh, up. I didn't put the sign up. My family did. Let's, what and I'm going to stand behind. I'm going to stand behind the fork on that driveway. And I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to protect his right to say his First Amendment, just like I'm going to say all them people who put the nasty things out on social media and on the internet. They have the right to say them things too. So remember, your words are a two-way street. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes. Sorry. Is this where I stand? I yeah, yeah, I can't see you, but. You know, I, 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 um, there seems to be some personal issues going on. And I think in order for your organization to run smoothly, you need to leave those off the table. Because I don't care what personal issues your family members have. I with, personally don't have any issues with anybody I, in this room. I'm they speaking, made, they took it to me. I'm speaking. I'm telling you, they brought it to me. I'm sorry, but they brought it to me. They brought it to me after I'm done. They brought it to me. I'm just saying, your family has fear to leave your home because mm -hmm. of, of messages that were led or words that were said in the World Wide Web exactly. about your family. Okay? I happen to have a family member that's on this fire department as well who is not involved in any of this political jargon and crap that's going on in this fire department Same here. that I took offense to because that sign that you speak of is also on the World Wide Web. Exactly. That everybody can see. And again, that's the okay? first member. So right. this, it, it, that's fine. That's fine. We're talking about a fire department here that's here to serve and protect our community. Not to get caught up in who knows who, and who's got a personal vendetta with who, and who's got this with who. I don't care. I'm a tax-paying body of this community, and I expect to be served and protect by my community. I don't care who likes who and who doesn't like who. I don't care. I don't care about my First Amendment right at this point. I don't. That's a problem. You should. Well, this you know what? When it comes down to this, I don't. Because our community me. looks like an absolute joke right now. We look like a joke. I agree. And this fire department used to be something that was very, very near and dear to me. It still is, actually. We should be quite proud of it. And if you worked with any of the trustees about 20 years ago, money wasn't spent on the equipment and the, and the, the, the tools that, that this department has today. These guys didn't have this 20 years ago. Some of those trustees acted like it was their own money. It didn't get spent. If you don't show your spending money, guess what? The state, the grants aren't gonna come in, boys. So you got people who are willing to spend money and give you what you need. Put the personal stuff aside. Or if you guys have personal stuff, take it into a closed room and resolve it. Don't make it a community issue. 
The community doesn't care about your personal issues. I'm sure you don't care about mine. Run this department and serve your community. That's what you signed up for. So either take the oath and do it, or quietly leave. That's my request as a community member. I apologize. What was your name? Charmaine Cornwell. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else like to speak? You certainly have the opportunity. If not, we will move on into closed session. You're all welcome to stay around for when we come out of closed, se closed session and take any action. So, for that, I'll make a motion. I'll ask one more time. Any comments? If not, I make a motion at uh, 812 to go into closed session. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We'll call vote. Mr. Marks? Yes. Uh, this is to consider the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the public body, including hearing testimony and complaint lodged against an employee to determine its validity. Thank you. And we will let you know. When we come. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion at uh, 8 30 that we go back into open session. Roll call vote. So sorry. Second. Motion and second. Jim Mark? Yes. Okay, thank you for returning. Um, at this time, we are accepting the resignation of Trustee Kevin Stark. Um, we also have a statement that I will read, and it will be available to those interested in having it. And if my voice goes out, Jack will finish. From Boone County Fire Protection District Number Two Board of Trustees, the Board of Trustees of the Boone County Fire Protection District Number Two have been made aware of a message placed on a sign located at a private business owned by one of the members of the Board of Trustees. This message does not represent the views of either the Board of Trustees as a corporate entity or its individual members. The Board of Trustees does not endorse in any way the use of any profane, intolerant, and insensitive language contained on the sign. The Board expressly disavows the language expressed on the sign, and in no way does the Board agree with the crude and politically insensitive remarks on the sign. The Board of Trustees has accepted the resignation of the trustee who has been linked to the message on the sign. He served the district for many years, and we do thank him for his service. Nevertheless, the remaining members of the board believe this, that his resignation at this time is in the best interest of the district and its members. The board is committed to providing the best public safety service to all residents, regardless of gender, race, religion, age, sexual orientation, or political viewpoint. The public safety mission of the fire district is available to all on an equal basis. It is truly unfortunate that an ill-conceived message on an outdoor message board could overshadow the excellent public safety mission provided by the fire district and its valuable personnel. Signed by myself, Jim Mars, President, and Jack Ryan, Secretary. Jack, do you have anything to add? No, sir. As I said, we will have copies of this available if needed. We thank you for coming to a difficult meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.